Hey, what's up, everybody? So I was integrating the Epic Lock Retro Counter into my WordPress blog. Uh, it was actually a custom site for a client, and having some serious issues getting it set up. I wasn't sure if it was a WordPress thing or maybe something with jQuery or what. Uh, my issue was Internet Explorer 7 wouldn't show the actual graphics here counting down. It would just be empty. It was driving me mad. It worked fine in Firefox and Safari, too. <laughs> so anyways, here's what I did to fix it. So first of all, you got to make sure that you include jQuery in WordPress, and that's just something as simple as this in your header right before the WP head. That gets jQuery fired up. Next thing you got to do is include your scripts for the epic clock, and this is just a standard one here, and I just put it in a folder called Countdown uh, in my theme. And then you want to include the retro countdown JS, which also includes the CSS file that loads the um, that cool flip graphic. The only problem is it does not work at all in IE6. So what I says it, I just use a little conditional statement here: if greater than IE6, then show it. Otherwise, it won't show it. And then you can just tweak IE6, and it'll just show the text instead of the graphics. So you can still have a countdown, it just won't be as cool. And then also you want to make sure it shows in browsers other than IE, so I just say, if not IE, include it. So that'll cover Firefox and all the other ones. And then of course you want to, this is how you would fire it up, um, and this code is just straight from the Clock website. And then of course you got to have a div somewhere on your site called clock, or whatever you want to call it. So I just put that in my footer, there you go. And that will get you looking like this. Now the only trick was figuring out how to fix this for IE7 because that's an important browser. And it turns out there's this file epiclock.retro.countdown.js and this line right here is the culprit. This guy uh, tells it which style sheet to load and it's this retro.countdown.css which includes the cool little flip graphic. Well, apparently it doesn't work for IE7 unless you include the full absolute URL this is what I had to add to it right here. Previously it just it shipped with, you know, just clocks this thing. It wasn't working in IE7, driving me mad. The way to solve it, add your absolute URL and uh, to this is how it shows in, you know, my WordPress theme. And then it works. So hopefully that'll help someone and save someone a lot of frustration because this is a pretty cool effect, especially for this client that does taxes. They want to show a countdown to when tax season is upon us. All right. All the best.